Hello, hello, good evening. How are you tonight? Hello, good evening. Hello, Silvia. Hello, Julissa. Hello, Carla, Monica. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, good evening. Hello, Julian. Good evening. How are you tonight? I can't anymore. I wanna sleep. Ah, oh, you are sleepy tonight. I can see that. Mm -hmm. You you look so tired. I'm so sorry. It was a busy day today. Hello, Marvin. Good evening. Yes. Yes, it was. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. But don't worry, tomorrow is our last class. So on Friday, you are going to sleep a lot. Hello, Jaime. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Sure. Let's make. Okay, uh, let's start with tonight's class. So do you have any question about the exercises on the platform, about the final test? Uh, did you have a problem or oh, it's everything okay? Está ya todo bien con la plataforma, todo finalizado. Yeah. Hi, good evening. Hello, Antonio, good evening. Welcome to the class. Remember that tomorrow is our last class. Mañana tenemos la última clase de este módulo. And it is important that you have already finished the platform exercises and evaluation. Es importante que usted ya haya terminado los ejercicios de la plataforma y también el examen final. ¿Hay alguien que todavía le hace falta algún ejercicio? A mí, teacher, pero estoy tratando de ponerme al día en lo que resta de ahora y mañana. Ok, Jamilet. Thank you to be sincere. Gracias por su sinceridad. Eh, recordarles que si tiene alguna pregunta, algún problema, puede escribir en el grupo de WhatsApp para poder colaborarle, para poder ayudarme a que usted termine el día de mañana antes de nuestra última clase los ejercicios en la plataforma. So if you don't have any question at the moment, let's start with tonight class. And tonight we're going to have a review of the last exam, the final test. Vamos a tener un repaso de los temas que aparecen ahí en el examen final para que usted no tenga ningún problema al momento de resolverlo. O no le quede ninguna duda, ¿verdad? Si ya lo resolvió, en el caso de que ya lo haya resuelto. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. So I'm sharing with my screen. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Yes, thank you. Yes. Yes, okay, excellent. Let me hide this and let's start. Okay, we're going to have a final exam review. We're going to have a review of the topic that you are going to find in the final exam. So welcome to your class number 15. We are almost done. This is the before the last class. So in the listening part, in the final test, you are going to find this listening. And let's listen. Page 45. Uh, let me know if you can listen the audio. Yes. 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 Okay, let's listen the first the first description. Exercise four. Listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. 
My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Okay, do you have any new vocabulary in this small description? My family live on the first floor of a house. Another family live on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they are not very quiet. So that is the first reading, the first description you are going to find in the final test. So tell me, a new vocabulary? This is cute. Mm, which one? Uh, no new vocabulary. Then yet. Oh, quiet, quiet, quiet. is silencioso, quiet. tranquilo. But they are not very quiet. Ellos no son tranquilos, but no son silenciosos. Any other word? Then let's listen to the second description. Two. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Three. Okay. Where do these people live? ¿Dónde viven estas personas? In a house or in an apartment? Apartment. 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 Probably apartment, right? So look at this. It says, my apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. So it's very small, right? It is very small. And the first one, my apartment... Okay, apartment. They are apartment. apartment. Pequeño. Yes, you are right. Muy pequeño. It's very small, muy pequeño. Solo tiene un cuarto y una cocina pequeña. So it doesn't have a bedroom. No cabe ni una cama. So I sleep on the sofa. Duermo en el sofá. sofá. So who wants to read the first paragraph? A volunteer, please, to read the first paragraph. Or do you want to listen again the pronunciation? Me, Antonio. Thank you, Antonio. You can start. Okay. My family live uh, on the fifth floor, floor of, of house. Another family live on the second floor. The people on the second floor are, are nice, but they are not very quiet. Thank you. Thank you. Almost perfect. Very good, very good job. So it says first, live, my family live on the third floor of a house. Okay. Any other volunteer to read the second paragraph, please? A volunteer to read the second paragraph? Me. Sí. Thank you. You can start, Silvia. Number two. Yes, please. My apart apartment is very small. It has just one room with, with a very small, very small kitchen. I doesn't have a bed bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Thank you very much. Let's see the next two. Page 45. So look at the next description. Listen. Listen then, please. Page 45. Exercise four. Listening three. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Four. 
My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. So listen to the pronunciation again, please. Three. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Four. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. So let's see number one. I live in an apartment downtown. What is downtown? What is the meaning of downtown? Ciudad. Okay, excellent. I live in an apartment in the city, in the center of the ciudad. That is downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. ¿En qué piso vive esta persona? En el piso número cinco. Quinto piso. No. Ah, okay. En el quinto, quinto piso. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. Uh, what is old building? What is the meaning of old building? Un edificio. Un edificio viejo. ¿no? Good evening. Hello, good evening. But it's interesting. It is interesting. I have a great view of the city. ¿Qué es lo que tiene? I have a great view of the city. A gran vista. Oh, tiene una excelente vista de la ciudad. And I am close to a lot of stores and restaurants. Tiene cerca muchos restaurantes y... Tiendas. Tiendas, ok. Number four, my family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. So let's see, mi familia y yo vivimos en una, en una? Vieja Casa Blanca. Vieja Casa Blanca en el campo, in the countryside. The house is a little small. Is it big or small? Pequeña. Un poco pequeña. But we have a big yard. Tenemos un gran patio. Un gran patio. patio. We like it a lot. Nos gusta muchísimo. So they are describing the place where they live. So this is the listening you are going to find in the final test. So do you have any question? On number Three teacher, I am close. I am close. ¿Qué significado tiene? Oh, I am close to. Eh, significa yo estoy cerca de. I am close to. Cerca de. Yes, estoy cerca de muchas tiendas y restaurantes. Porque podría confundir con cerrado al close. Con close. cerrar, yes. Pero ahí sería solo I close. I close the door. En este caso está como un adjetivo. I am close. Estoy cerca. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, thank you for your question. So I need a volunteer to read paragraph number three, the description number three, please. Who wants to read it? Me, hey, William. Thank you. thank you, William. So you can start, please. I live in apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city and I am closer to a lot of store and restaurants. Okay, thank you very much. Very, very good job. Thank you. So closed, closed, closed. and restaurant. Closed and restaurant. Fit, fit, fit. Fifth. Downtown. 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 Okay, excellent. Thank you. Any other volunteer to read the description number four? Family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big jar. We like it a lot. Excellent. Perfect job. Thank you very much. 
Any other volunteer to read paragraph number four, please? Me, Nelson. Thank you, Nelson. You can start. My family and I live in an or white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big jar. We like it a lot. Excellent job. Thank you very much, Nelson. So thank you for the ones who participate in this part and the other ones you can participate Page in the 45. next. In the next. Uh, we're going to complete the following conversation using Son and any. Do you remember Son and any? When we're going to use Son? When are we going to use any? Son, mucho, any, nada. Negativo. Oh, that is the meaning. In Son, we use Son in affirmative, negative, or in interrogative sentences. And when we're going to use any, so let's see. Any is a negative. Okay. Any is for negative sentences. So look at this. Some is used in affirmative sentences. Who wants to read this sentence? Who wants to read it? ¿Quién quiere leer esta oración? Me, Mario. Thank you, Mario. Some is used in affirmative sentence. Mario, can you please read the next one? The next example. I need some cheese for the pizza. Thank you. What about the next one? Do you want to read the next one, please? She needs some chicken for the salt. Thanks a lot. Let's see who wants to read this. Any volunteer tonight? Any is used in negative sentence in question. Thank you very much. Any is used in negative sentences in questions. So he doesn't have any meat in the fridge. Can you please read the sentence? He doesn't have any meal in the bridge. Excellent. Let's see the next one. Do you any want to read the next one? We don't need any tomato sauce. Thank you. What about the next one? Don't you don't sauce. need any sugar in your coffee. Do you need any sugar in your coffee? And the last one, please. Does she need any cream? Thank you very much. Any cream. Thank you very much. So look Does at this. Does she need any cream? Thank you. Excellent job. Thanks a lot. You did an excellent job in this part. Some is used in affirmative sentences, in oraciones afirmativas, y any in oraciones negativas, in preguntas. So let's complete the following conversation. In the first one, the store doesn't have some or any. Teacher. Yes. No se ve bien. Okay, o no sé mis compañeros, pero yo no veo bien. Se ve borroso. Se ve feo. Yo no, no sé qué solo yo era. <risa> yo creí sí. que era mi gente, pues no decía nada. <risa> ah, ok. <risa> Ah, ha de ser el sueño, ha de ser el sueño. Sí. Ok, I'm going to share it with you again, this. Are you tired, teacher? A little bit, a little bit. I feel a little bit tired. So is this conversation? So let me see if you can see it now. Okay, can you see it well? No. No. The, no. the same? Yeah. The same, the same. Okay. Oh, okay, give me a second. 
Bueno, en realidad se ve peor. En <risa> en now. Yes. In... Much better. Much better. Me voy a acercar más. Yes. <risa> yes. <risa> okay. yes, I can see. I can read this. Oh, you can read this. Let's try again. I don't know what is happening. And now, can you see it? No. No. Um, what about the next one? Let's see. In no. this one? Yes. No. Yes, allí sí se ve. Es así. Es así, porque son no. grandes. <laughs> Okay. Sí, cuando las letras son muy pequeñas no se distingue, pareciera que es un tema de, de la calidad de la imagen o del internet porque no se ah. distingue la letra. Ok, that could be, that could be. So, what about now? Can you see it? Yeah. Con yeah. esfuerzo se logra. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. No. Okay, now. Yes. Answer. <laughs> okay, but we are, you are going to see the answer, right? So let's see. The store doesn't have any fruit salad. Well, we have lots of apples. Let's make some. Okay, do we need any pears? No, we don't. We need to buy some pears. We need some peaches too. Oh, I don't want any peaches. I hate peaches. Then let's get some grapes. I don't want any grapes in my fruit salad. But let's put some strawberries in it. Strawberries sounds good. Strawberry sounds good. So what are they making? ¿Qué están haciendo ellos? Salad. A fruit salad. They are making a fruit salad. Uh, what do they need? ¿Qué necesitan? Any fruits? Some, some, some fruits, fruits, right? And then you say, well, we have lots of apples. Let's make some. Hagamos algo. La tienda no tiene ninguna ensalada de frutas. Bueno, nosotros tenemos muchas manzanas. Hagamos una. Ok, do we need any peers? Necesitamos peras, algunas peras. No, we don't. We need to buy some peers. We need some peaches too. Necesitamos algunos. What is peaches? What is the meaning of peaches? Melocotones. Oh, I don't want any peaches. I hate peaches. Then let's. Okay, let's get some grapes. What are grapes? Uvas. Uvas. No, Uvas. I don't want any grapes in my fruit salad. But let's put some strawberries in it. Strawberries sounds good. Okay. Nice. So as you can see here, any is in negative sentences. The store doesn't have any. In question two, do we have any peers? I don't want any peaches. I don't want any grades. So in question and also in negative sentences. In some, let's make negative. some. Oh, some is in affirmative. Affirmative. We need to buy some peers. We need some peaches. And then get some grades. Let's put some strawberries in it. I need to volunteer to practice this small conversation, please. Who wants to participate at this time? Any volunteer? Hi. I am Adam. Uh, can you please repeat your name, please? My hey. name is Rene. Rene and Julian. Okay, thank you, Julian. So, Rene, you are going to be Amanda at this time, and Julian, you are going to be Adam, please. Okay. The store doesn't have any fruit salad. 
Well, we have lost Apple. Let's make some. Okay. Do we do we have any peer? No, we don't. We need to buy some peers. We need some peaches too. Oh, I don't want any peaches in a peaches. Then let's get some grapes. No, I don't want any grapes in my fruit salad. But let's put some strawberry in it. Strawberry sound good. Okay, excellent. Do you have any new vocabulary in this conversation? Thank you very much, Rene and Julian. You did an excellent job in this conversation. Thank you. Okay. Any question? What's the meaning of I hate peaches? Oh, Okay, hay alguna fruta que usted odia? No. No, not really. No. Okay. Can you see the conversation now? Yes. Yeah, oh, now it is working. Yo no. Yo no puedo ver. Todavía no. Okay. No, yo no entendí nada. Okay, what well, about this topic? Frequency adverb position. Do you remember about the frequency adverbs? Yes. Yes, which are they? Can you mention some of them? How often do you of take a copy? Ah, oh. How often do you take a copy? And you say, I always take a cup of coffee. So that is the question. How often do you... In the frequency adverb are always, usually, normally, frequently, sometimes, eh, hardly ever, seldom, and never. never. And never. So most of the frequency. Also, no, that is not a frequency adverb. Okay. Most of the frequency adverbs, most of the frequency adverbs go between the subject and the verb. En la mayoría de los adverbios de frecuencia van en medio del sujeto y el verbo. Subject, adverb plus a verb. Plus complement. And the complement, right? In a complement too. So let's see the next examples. Who wants to read the examples? A volunteer, please. Who wants to read the examples? Nobody? Let's see. Me, Mario. Thank you, Mario. I always go to the park on Sundays. Thank you very much. The next one, please. She usually eats lot of pizza. Thank you. Okay, let's stay here. As you can see, I is the subject. Always the adverb of frequency, the verb go, and the complement to the park on Sundays. She is the subject, then uh, yeah. usually is the adverb. The verb is it, and it's the complement. Lots of fix up. So let's see the next thing. However, when they are used with the verb being, these adverbs go after the verb. Sin embargo, cuando estamos utilizando el verbo to be, el verb be, estos adverbios van después del verbo. Con todos los otros verbos, vamos a utilizar esta estructura. Sujeto, adverbio de frecuencia y verbo. Cuando estemos utilizando el verbo to be, el Adverbio va a cambiar de lugar. Entonces queda de la siguiente manera. Sujeto, verbo to be, más el adverbio. Let's see the following example. She is always... Uh, wait a second. Hold on a second, please. Ok, I'm sorry. She is always gossiping about her neighbors. 
Uh, subject, verbi, and always. Después, el adverbio, si estamos usando el verbo to be, va después, después del verbo to be. Let's see the next example. He is never angry. Subject, verb, and adverb. So they are usually busy on weekends. Verb, and the adverb. Subject, verb, and the adverb, and the complement. So that is the section. Con todos los otros verbos, utilizamos la primera estructura. Sujeto, adverbio, y verbo. Si estamos Según. utilizando el verbo to be, primero va el sujeto, después el verbo to be, y después escribimos el adverbio. Do you have a question? Guys, I think neighbors get... Oh, what is the meaning of gossiping in neighbors? So, gossiping is... What's the meaning? It's como... Chambrear in Spanish. She is always gossiping about her neighbors. Siempre está inventando cosas ¿no? de sus vecinos. Chismosear, ¿no? chismoso. Ok, gracias. Ok. ¿Tienen alguna vecina así? Yes. Yes. <risa> yes. Okay. yes. Ok. Conoce más la vida del vecino que la de, un, la de ella. So she is yes. always gossiping about her neighbors. Siempre está inventando cosas acerca de sus vecinos. Eh, I volunteer to read the last three examples, please. Who wants to read the last three sentences? May. Julián. Thank Hoy you, Julián. Hoy sí se ve mejor la pantalla. Ah, okay, thank you. <laughs> Ya se le fue el sueño por eso. She is always. <laughs> She's always gossiping about her neighbors. He's never angry. They are usually busy on weekends. Thank you very much. So let's see the next one. Um, ¿Qué lugar pondrían el adverbio? El adverbio de frecuencia está en paréntesis. The frequency adverb is in paréntesis. So you have to place in the right place. Tiene que colocarlo en el lugar correcto. En la primera oración, he listened to the radio. Yo quiero decir, él con frecuencia escucha la radio. So, he often. often he often. Oh, often. he often listens to the radio. The next one, they read a book. Sometimes. Sometimes they read a book. Excellent. Esa es otra manera. En el caso de sometimes, lo podemos utilizar también al principio de la oración. Sometimes they read a book. Excelente. También podemos ponerlo después de they, que es el sujeto. They sometimes read a book. What about never? Pete gets angry. Pete never. Pete never gets angry. Excelente. Tom is very friendly. And the frequency Tom, is, Tom, Tom is, is usually, usually very friendly. Perfect. Excellent. Tom is usually very friendly. I take sugar in my coffee sometimes. Sometimes I, I take sugar in my coffee. Perfect. Sugar. Or you can say, I sometimes take sugar in my coffee. In both sentences are okay. Ramon and Fran are hungry. Ramon and Fran are often hungry. Excellent. Tienen amigos así? Ramon and Fran are often hungry. Muchos. Okay. Siempre tienen hambre. Eh, bueno, con frecuencia. Often. My grandmother goes for a walk in the evening. My grandmother always goes for a walk in the evening. Thank you very much. That is the right sentence. And the next one, Walter helps his father in the kitchen. Walter. 
Walter helps Walter usually. Mm, no. Walter usually. Walter usually, usually helps help his father in the kitchen. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Walter usually helps his father in the kitchen. That's the right answer. So the last one, Christine smokes. Christine never smokes. Christine never smokes. Ya dejó el vicio. Christine nunca fuma. So here are the so here are the right sentences. Acá están las oraciones correctas. Como de puede ir colocado el adverbio de frecuencia dentro de estas oraciones. He often listens to the radio. They sometimes read a book. Pete never gets angry. Don is usually very friendly. I sometimes taste sugar in my coffee. Ramon and Frank are often hungry. My grandmother always go for a walk in for a walk in the evening. Walter usually helps his father in the kitchen. Christine never smokes. Any volunteer to practice and from one to three, las primeras tres oraciones, who wants to practice? Me. Thank you. You can read them, please. He often listens to the radio. They sometimes read a book. Pete never gets angry. Thank you. For the next three sentences, who wants to participate? Me. Thank you. Tom. Uy. Tom yeah. is usually very friendly and sometimes take sugar and my coffee and my coffee. Ramon and Frank are often hungry. Thank you very much. You did an excellent job. Thank you. And the last three, the last three sentences, who wants to practice? Me, Me. Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. My grandmother always goes for a walk in the evening. Walter usually helps his my father in the kitchen. Christine never smokes. Thank you very much. Very good job. Thank you. Let's see the next exercise. Can you please uh, order this work to make a correct sentence? So I had the occasionally we go movies and do. ¿Cómo sería la oración? Me, 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 occasionally go to the movie. Go to the movie. Okay, Nelson, Nelson can you say the sentence? Yes, occasionally we go to the movies. Occasionally we go to the movies. Okay, occasionally it's another frequency adverb that we can use at the beginning of the sentence. So you are right. Occasionally we go to the movies. Or we can say we occasionally go to the movies. Let's see the next one. I have the words weekend, usually boys, soccer, the at and play. What is the right sentence? Boy, my boy, usually the soccer at play weekends. Hey, Jonathan, se puya. Okay. I have to message in the chat, just let me read. <laughs> Jonathan. ¿Verdad que les? <risa> ok, Elizabeth, mala señora. Jonathan. Que puede estarse quieto. <risa> ok. Stop. Just, just take it easy, take it easy, guys. So it says the boys usually play soccer at weekends. Let's see the next one. What happened with this? I have always the Sunday make on day breakfast. They always 
the Jayways breakfast on the, the Sunday. The joy, they always make, make uh, break the Sunday. Break on, on Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Excellent. That is the right answer. They, they always make breakfast on yes. Sundays. Make the breakfast on Sunday. Um, this is easy. Beth makes he he's never. What is the right answer? I don't know where. He, he never he never made his bed. Bed. Okay, excellent. He never made his bed. What about the number five? Have lunch fish seldom for in week. We, we, we seldom we seldom, we seldom have long lunch oh no for lunch. fish for lunch ah, okay excellent we seldom have fish for lunch, lunch. lunch. okay jaminet i understand and the next one Let's see in Harry. Rarely bus work by to go to go day. <clears throat> they they rarely go to work by bus. Excellent. They rarely go to work by bus. Thank you. Uh, here I have the answer. We occasionally go to the movies. The boys usually play soccer at weekends. So the next one is, they always make the breakfast on Sundays. He never made his bed. We seldom have fish for lunch and they rarely go to work by bus. I volunteer to read the sentences, please. Me, Mario. Thank you, Mario. One and two. In one, two, and three, please. Okay. We occasionally go to the movies. The boys usually play soccer at weekends. They always make the breakfast on Sunday. Thank you very much. Excellent job. And the last three, who wants to read the next three sentences? Never make his bed. We seldom have fish for lunch. In the last one? They rarely go to work by bus. Thank you very much. Okay, you are going to find some similar exercise, exercises on the final test. Van a encontrar ejercicios similares a estos en el examen final. Using the frequency adverbs. Now let's go with WH work. W is work. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. Which are they? What is the name? Can you tell me, please? What? What where? is the, Where? Why? Who? who? Why? Who? Perfect. What? what? Where? 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 When? When, when to? When? Let's see the first one. What? What's the meaning of this question? Okay. What? Que okay. okay. oh. It has two okay. meanings. Como? No. It has two meanings. Que o? Oh. Qual? Qual? Que o qual? What's the meaning of when? Cuando. 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 What's the meaning of why? Por qué? What's the meaning of who? Quién. Quién. What's the meaning of where? Donde. Donde. Which? Cuál. 
¿Cuál? Muy bien. Esta la utilizamos cuando tenemos elecciones. Which one do you prefer? The blue one or the red one? ¿Cuál quiere? ¿El azul o la roja? How? ¿Cómo? 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 How much? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto? Para nombres incontables. ¿En how many? También, ¿cuántos para nombres contables? How much? ¿Cuántos para nombres incontables? How many? ¿Cuántos para nombres incontables? So, let's continue. What, when? Eh, let's, let's fill the blanks with these words. What, when, why, who, where, which, how, how much, or how many? En la número uno, ¿cuál sería la WH word correcta? What. What. Ok, excelente. What color what are your eyes? What are your eyes? Eyes. What your color eyes. are your eyes? What, what color are your eyes? Nelson, can you answer that question? What color are your eyes? Black. <laughs> blue. <laughs> can you say, my eyes are blue? My eyes are green. My eyes. My eyes is black. Oh, you say my eyes are black. Are black. Yes. Sometimes, sometimes are red. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> my, my eyes are color brown. Brown, okay. My eyes are color brown. Excellent answer too. Okay, let's see number two. My keys. Where? Where are? No. Okay, where are my keys? ¿Dónde están mis llaves? Let's see. The next one says, do you visit your family? Y acá está la respuesta. On Sundays. When? When? Okay, when? When do you visit your family? On Sundays. Number four. The answer is Felipe. Who? Who? He's Felipe the king Sixth. of Spain. Oh, cool. Oh, what is the king of Spain? Felipe. What? what? Okay. What is the What is the king of Spain? Spain. Felipe Sixth, right? Felipe Sixth. The next one. Oh, is your sister? Your sister. What is your oh. sister? How old is your sister? How old is your just, sister? How? 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 How old is your sister? When do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? Which? Which? Which one do you prefer? And the next one, apples are there. ¿Cuántas manzanas hay allí? How much or how many? How much? How many, porque son contables. Ok, excelente. How many, porque las manzanas son contables. Very good. How many apples are there? Let's see number eight. How many? How? Much. No, it is not how. It is not how many. A number eight. How, how much? How much? No. Where? 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 Mm -mm. Where? Where? What? What are you angry with me today? Where are you angry? No. ¿Por qué Why? estás enojada conmigo? Why? 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 No, why? Why are you angry with me today? ¿Por qué estás enojada conmigo hoy? In the yo, last pensé one. Que, yo pensé que angry era pájaro, por lo que estaba perdido. Ah, okay. <laughs> angry birds. <laughs> In number nine. How? Where, where, where are you going? Where? Where are you going where? now? Where? Where are you going? ¿Dónde estás siguiendo? So, no. do you have any question? No. No question. Okay, where, don't where, forget where, about this work. Where, 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 don't forget about this work. Why? Where? 
And then let's go with this. More than I would say that it can, it can't, can, can't. So use can or can't. I am bad at the sport. So I, I can or I can't play basketball. I can. I can. The next one. I can. Cats. Can. Los gatos pueden bajar de los árboles. Can or can't. Can. 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 Maria is sick. She can or she can't go to work today. Can. She can. She can't. A dolphin can. can't work. Can. Can. Fernando is in a band. Can't. Can. Can. He, he can, can sing very, sing very well. well. The lunch wasn't tasty. El almuerzo no estaba delicioso. My brother can can good. Can can cook. My hunger is too long. Can can or can't. Can you help can. me? Can you can. Mi, mi tarea es demasiado grande. ¿Me puedes ayudar? Can you help me? Can you can. help me? Can you help me? Okay, now here are the answer. Can. 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 Okay, who wants to read the number one? I'll mentir, please. I am bad at sport. I can play basketball. Excellent. Number two, I volunteer, please. You can you can read it. Me, Mario. Thank cats, you, Mario. Cats can't go down off a tree. Thank you. Number three, please. Go ahead. Me, Nelson. Thank you, Nelson. Maria is sick. She can't go to the, go to work today. Okay. Thank you very much. Number four, please. Thank you. Can't can walk. Thank you. Number five. Fernando. He can sing very well. Thank you very much. Number six. The lawn, you want to taste? My brother can't cook. Excellent. The lunch wasn't tasty. My brother can't cook. Thank you very much. And the last one. Anyone want to read the last one? My me. phone is too long. Can you help me? Excellent. My homework is too long. Can you help me? Okay, now let's see. Let's practice. Ah, oh, this is what's can. Talking about abilities, right? Can, para lo que podemos hacer. Can't, para las habilidades que no tenemos. Can, can't. Then, yes, no question. Yes? Can, can't. Was, what? ¿Qué significa? Number six. Ah, the lunch wasn't tasty. Es el was. verbo to be en pasado. Was. El almuerzo no estaba delicioso. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Yes, no question in simple present tense. ¿Se acuerdan? De las yes, no question and also information question. So let's yeah. see, com complete your line apartment. Okay. Complete the last oration. Okay, just a moment. Hold on a second. I complete do. using, complete using do, does, don't, or doesn't. In the number one, seria, I, yo no vivo en un apartamento. Is do, I does, don't, don't or doesn't. I don't live in an apartment. Okay, excellent. I don't live in an apartment. The next one. She doesn't. Or she, she does. She do house house. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't have doesn't. a house. Excellent. And number three. Do you hate? Do you, 
Do you have a car? Do you have a car? Excellent. Do you have a car? In number four. Do. Where do you, where do you live? Where does you lie? Do you live? Where do you lie? Where do you live? Where do you live? Excellent. Number five. Does she like onion? Does she like onion? Excellent. Six, how many rooms? Does your does your does your house your house have how many rooms does your house have? Does your house in the last does, one? Does, does he have money? Does he does have them. money? Only teacher. <laughs> I have <laughs> money. <laughs> okay, now look, let's practice this small conversation. And it says, Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. That sounds great. Do you have any brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. Do you have your own room? Yes, I do. I am really lucky. So in this, you are going to find example of yes, no question. Then this first one, do you live in an apartment? And it says, no, I don't. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. Do you live alone? No, I don't. Do you have any brother or sister? Yes, I do. Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. So the last two volunteers to practice this conversation, who wants to participate? Me, Jonathan. Okay, thank you, Jonathan and me. Rene. Oh, Rene. Okay, Rene, you are A. Jonathan, you are going to be B. So you can start. Okay. So Rene, you are A. And Jonathan is ah, B. Okay. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a jar? Yes, it does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. That sounds great. Do you have any brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does you have have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. Do you have your own room? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent job, Jonathan and Rene. Thanks a lot. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. Let me see. Okay, uh, tonight we had a review about the final test. Algunos de los ejercicios que vimos el día de hoy van a encontrar algunos parecidos en el examen final si aún no lo han hecho. Si ya lo hicieron, pues de seguro se recordaron. Y dijeron, ah, sí era. Y a mí me costó un poco, pero ahora I understand it better. Ahora lo comprendo mejor. So, do you have any question? Well, if you don't have any other question, um, see you tomorrow. I will be waiting for you for our last class tomorrow. Mañana es nuestra última clase. Y no se olviden, si les hace falta algún ejercicio de la plataforma, tienen que terminarlo antes de que comience la clase. Y también el examen final. Section 5 and final test. So don't forget about that, please. Uh, sleep well. See you tomorrow. 
Nos vemos mañana. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Yeah, in the app, Beatriz, do you have a question? No, teacher. Okay. Uh, have a good night. See you tomorrow. No, teacher, solo que me queda como trabada la aplicación, pero no sé por qué es. Puede ser que sea su conexión a internet. Ajá, porque o sea, o, eh, se ven los movimientos que ustedes hacen, pero la voz se les escucha hasta después. Entonces, ah, pues sí, sí en es por la, por la velocidad del internet. Ah, okay. le, le ha de estar fallando la señal. A mí me sí, está fallando. Tío. Quizás por lo mismo que ha estado lloviendo, ha, ha, ha puesto así el internet. Ah, es posible, ¿verdad? Es posible. Sí, sí. Ok. Sí. Gracias, bueno. teacher. Gracias, a, teacher. A ustedes. Bye, bye. Que descansen. Bye. See you tomorrow. Buenas, buenas noches.